Back in 2015, it was hailed as one of the biggest diplomatic accomplishments of our time. Fast forward five years with Iran diplomacy in limbo, the nuclear deal looks like it could be falling apart. Today, signatory powers are barely on speaking terms. The question now is, is there a way out of this diplomatic gridlock? The only thing now that, that the Europeans uh, are asking of the Iranians is to come back to the nuclear deal. What the Iranians are asking of the Europeans is, well, you know, your end of the bargain. Why are you not fulfilling the terms of the deal by providing economic relief? If you do that, um, which means standing up to the Americans to some extent, then we are willing to reverse these steps that we've taken since May 2019. But Europeans, for their part, have been reluctant to challenge the unpredictable Trump on Iran. Chances are they'll never do it. Partnering with Moscow and Beijing is also a no-go. I find it hard to believe that um, uh, the Europeans would um, make a deal uh, with Iran in concert with Russia and China in opposition to the United States at the great risk of, um, you know, causing a real breach in the transatlantic alliance. Uh, for Europe, if it's a choice between Iran and the United States, the, United, the Europeans are going to choose the United States, even with Trump in the White House. Um, this is of long standing, and it has, you know, this relationship has brought peace to the continent for 70 years. That's not going to just uh, fall apart over a, a very important nuclear deal that uh, hopefully will, you know, stop proliferation in the Middle East. Europe says the ball is in Iran's court. But Tehran, under pressure domestically and internationally, is on the defensive. The big unknown is whether its leaders will choose reconciliation over confrontation. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Brussels.